Hello guys, Ian here today and bringing you another Cinema 4D tutorial for you all. Um, this one is all about controlling dynamics within Cinema 4D. So I'll show you an example with an intro I did recently where the coin kind of flips up and then comes back down and you can see it rolls around on the floor before landing perfectly in the center of the scene. Um, this is quite easy to do and saves a lot of time um, compared to keyframing everything. So for this example, I'm going to steal um, the logo I used, um, delete all the tags just so you can see from the start what I did. I'm not going to light or texture the scene um, in this tutorial because this is all about dynamics. So what we have here is quite a strange shape so it needs to bounce correctly um, as well so I'll show you how to do that. So what we need is um, a logo and we also need something to collide it with. In this case, a floor. So I'm just gonna make a floor here and if we click play, nothing will happen because we need some dynamics in here. So I'm gonna right click on the logo, go to simulation and rigid body. On the inherit tag option in collision, I'm going to call it a compound collision shape because I don't want this to interact with itself. Um, I want this to all be considered to be one shape. And yeah, so now everything should work fine except for the shape which I want to change to moving mesh. So instead of them, it uh, the dynamics thinking that this is just a box. I want this to actually take into account the geometry and so it will actually bounce correctly. And that's a very easy tip for getting it right um, without having to keyframe. So we need it to collide with the cube. So under cube I'm going to right click simulation and collider. And now if we click play you can see it falls to the ground. Not very interesting though because um, when you flip a coin up, it doesn't just fall straight down, it has rotation and it goes up first. So I was thinking about how to do that and I discovered the initial velocity. And I'm going to set the initial linear velocity um, on the Y plane to a thousand. So the first one is X, second is Y, third is Z. So Y being up, this is going to be a thousand. And for the initial angular velocity, which is what gives it its rotation, I'm just going to kind of play with these numbers and click play. So you can see it flips around and then if I make the timeline maybe 10 seconds so we have a bit more time to play with, you can see now it goes up, kind of flips around. So there's not much friction on the ground. So I'm going to highlight both tabs on collision, just turn the friction up to um, something like 100 and that way it will grip to the floor um, quite a bit better. So now um, the tip is to try and get it to land upright and this is pretty much um, trial and error. So I'm just going to play with something here. Um, so this one doesn't uh, land upright so maybe turn that one down and hopefully we'll get somewhere, maybe turn this up. Ah, So this is trial and error and sometimes you get it first time and sometimes you do not. And I will get it so maybe I'll rotate it round to begin with which is another way to kind of cheat um, maybe this way up Ooh. and turn off object coordinates so it actually goes up um, and maybe like so and hopefully this is ridiculous <laughs> we'll get there Really? Oh, you're kidding. Maybe a bit more. Really? 
I mean, if I was calling this heads or tails, I would lose a lot. Okay, so there we are. This will do. So it's landed uh, this way up for the first time. And I want to keep it landing that way up every time. So I'm going to cache uh, the simulation. So go to cache and bake. Doesn't take very long. And now you can actually play through um, the timeline and the dynamics are all baked in. And so you don't have to look through it again. So now what I did um, to make sure it was always in the center. Now all you have to do is actually line your camera up. So maybe set up your scene to whatever you want um, using options configure view you can darken the bars at the top so you can actually see kind of where um, your camera is cut off and so you can have something like this and when you insert a camera um, now it will play and it will land perfectly um, where it was now that doesn't look great there um, but this is um, basically the dynamics, so it kind of skids along the floor um, a little bit. But in the example I had before, you can see it comes down and the dynamics work really well. This was trial and error, um, I will admit. And I got really lucky with it turning out so, e uh, so well, um, so easily. So this is how you can... Um, Kind of use dynamics to create a really nice scene in this particular one also i used um, a plugin called magic slow motion and that allowed me to get this slow motion at the start so the dynamics actually slows down completely so you could get um, a good look at the logo before it flying down and rotating so this is the basics of controlling dynamics within Cinema 4D. I really hope it's useful and sorry for the lack of uploads lately. Um, I've been really busy at university. Deadlines are all this week. Um, so I've been focusing on that um, over this. But soon I'll be on holidays and I'll be able to upload a lot more frequently. And yeah, so I hope you enjoy it. Leave a like if it's been helpful. Leave a comment on tutorial ideas. And have a great day, everyone.